Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's understand about the cosmetic thread. So the cosmetic thread is a feature which is used to represent the threaded portion for a shaft or for a hole. So it can be used for cylinder, cones and holes. So why we use cosmetic thread? So as a design engineer, we don't design the threads because thread manufacturing is a standard process. So we just highlight the threaded portion in our drawing with a standard note having all the thread parameter details and that is why we don't use helical sweep to design a thread. We just use cosmetic thread to highlight the thread portion. So here in this video we will create cosmetic thread for cylinder, cone and holes. So let's start with cylinder. So this is my cylinder and if I check the dimension of this cylinder, 15 is the dia and 50 is the height. Now to create the cosmetic thread, go to engineering, cosmetic thread. Now here you have two types of thread, simple thread and standard thread. So this is simple thread. So first you select a surface where the thread is coming and then you select the surface from where the thread will start. Now as per cylinder dia, the system automatically detects the minor dia of the thread. Now this is the height, so this can be modified as per your requirement or you can go with two selected and select a surface till where you want the thread. Now if you go to the placement, you have a thread placement surface. If you go to the depth, you have thread depth. And if you go to the properties, you have all the thread parameter listed here. Now if I shift to standard thread, the thread parameters change. Now here in this drop down list, you have different thread standards. So each standard will give you a different result. Now this is different thread sizes. So I'll select M14 into 1 and inside the depth I can leave it blind or I can change to 2 selected. So I'll leave it blind and I'll make it 30. And now if you see the properties, you have all the thread parameter listed here as per your selection. Now say OK. So you got your thread highlighted here. So in wireframe mode, you can easily see the purple lines, which is the threaded portion. So similarly, one more time, I'll create the cosmetic thread for the hole. I'll select the surface and this time I'll change to standard hole. Now the moment you change to standard hole, it detects M6 because the hole dia is 5. So the suitable thread will be M6. So the system is automatically detecting the thread size. Now I'll go to the depth and first I'll select the surface from where the thread will start. And then I'll go to two selected and I'll select the surface till where the thread will be. Now if you go to the properties, you can see the thread parameters as per your selection. Say OK. Now these thread details I can easily call to my drawing. And for this, go to annotate, show model annotation and select the note. Then select the drawing view. So you can select any view. Now select the note, say apply, cancel. Now these nodes you can place wherever you want. You can change the note attachment. Similarly, the cosmetic thread can be created for a cone. So go to engineering, cosmetic thread and first select the conical surface and then select the surface from where the thread will start. Now here also you can adjust the thread depth. Now when you are in simple thread, you have this value. This value is nothing but the gap between the outer thread surface and inner thread surface. So if I change this value to 2, you can clearly see the gap. And if you go to the properties, this is the thread parameters. Now if you shift to standard thread, you have different thread standard for conical surface. And this is the size of the thread. And as per your thread selection, this is the thread parameter. So you can easily define the cosmetic thread for conical portion also. 
So this was the cosmetic thread in Creo Parametric and I hope this video will be helpful. Now you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.